This farmhouse, just outside Stratford-upon-Avon, was the home of William Shakespeare's mother, Mary Arden, and is now a countryside museum, devoted to showing country life from Tudor times to the present day. The farm depends on a team of dedicated staff and volunteers. There are over 200,000 volunteers working in the UK every day, from clearing litter to helping with the elderly, and sometimes helping out with animals on the land, like here at the Mary Arden Centre. The whole aspect of volunteering is it's got to be good for the volunteer, it's got to be good for the staff and it's got to be good for the site. Well at first I um, come to Mary Arden's, I wasn't very sure because I didn't know what it was like but now I've seen it and I'm here, I'm very confident. I feel relaxed and more confident when I, I come here. It's a nice friendly atmosphere and my confidence is growing, yeah. When volunteers come to Mary Arden's farm they have the opportunity to meet people they might not otherwise, make friends, learn skills which they certainly wouldn't have before. And um, by doing those things, it helps to build their confidence. The first point of call is their support worker. And what's happened in the past is that the support worker comes out, meets us, and looks to see if this is an ideal place for that person to come. Then, um, then the, the person will come with their support worker and have a chance to meet everybody and look at what sort of jobs there are. And one of the beauties of a farm is that there are routine jobs that we do every day, but as the seasons change, there's also something new happening every day. So everything's the same, but everything's different. Volunteering is important um, at Mary Arden's farm because it helps us to do more things than just the basic care of the animals. Um, we're training oxen to work um, and doing lots of things to recreate what it was like in Tudor times. Volunteering is important to me because I've, I've worked all my life in a paid job and it was a job I did enjoy. Um, and but now I have a little bit more time and it's, it's nice to be able to do something that you actually want to do but also which is regarded as being quite a useful thing to do. Um, so you're combining something and, and, and also you have a choice and I think it's lovely in life to find that you have got time to have choices rather than doing all the time what you have to do. The nice thing about Mary Arden's house is it's very flexible so you're not having to commit yourself for, say, three or four months in a row for specific days and um, st stay to that commitment. Um, there is never a problem if you need to change a day or if you need to cancel. It's, it's very flexible, or if you need to go early. And I think that, that feeling about it, I think, makes you more inclined to do it. At Mary Ann's house, I always look after the animals, especially the horses. At first, I um, came to Mary Ann's, I wasn't very sure because I didn't know what it was like, but now I've seen it and I'm here, I'm very confident. It gives people a chance to see how the Tudors lived and how they worked and everything. Each day starts with um, the most important task, which is making sure all the animals are fed, bedded and watered and then we then plan what other jobs are important and they depend on the seasons. For some people when they arrive here it's a completely new environment, they're quite nervous but by working with animals that helps to break down barriers which they may have with people and I think I've, I've found that with people from all walks of life that they start off very unconfident and the confidence builds and they may have a particular animal that they develop a relationship. They may go on to eat that animal in <laughs> years to come, but they've still helped to do the best for it in its life. I'm a volunteer at the Mary Arden Centre. My role is quite varied. I work quite a bit in Palmer's farmhouse. Uh, which involves the cooking, the cleaning, also looking after the animals because it is a working farm and all the things that a maid would have done in Tudor times. 
Volunteering is very important to me because it's part of my interests. I'm interested in history. I can understand the past, the way people uh, lived, the way they felt, and empathise with um, what was going on. Centre Wise volunteers help to keep this, this place going, along with the paid staff. The visitors get a better experience and as we gain in our knowledge as volunteers we can actually give more to them. My name's Vicky Kane and I work as um, the operations manager here at Mary Arden's Farm. Um, basically I look after sort of the visitor experience, so what people get to see like these guys along the route. And I also look after the, the Tudor team. So as well as these babies, I look after uh, a team of staff and also a team of volunteers that work alongside ensuring that the project of the living history and the working Tudor farm sort of runs smoothly and is, is a good experience for, for the everyday visitor. Volunteering is, is, is vastly important to us here at Mary Ann's Farm because we wouldn't be able to offer the amount of projects and the amount of exciting things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis if we didn't have that volunteering input. Also, it's really, really good for the community so that we actually get people different ideas and different activities and really just get, you know, this isn't our farm, it belongs to everybody, so it's really nice to be able to share that experience with, with, with the wider community. There's really many different ways you can volunteer at Mary Ann's farm. Um, you can get involved with the animals if you like these these beasts. You can, and it's not just about like looking after them, their care. It's also about the wider things like the fencing and making sure like things are safe for them. Um, also, you can get involved in the Tudor project, which is basically exploring ways in which they lived in the 16th century. So, I mean, at the moment we're doing felting demonstrations. So we're taking the fleece from the sheep. It's that time of year for sheep shearing. Um, so we all learn to, to shear the sheep and then we take it and we actually create it into a felt jacket or a hat that we could wear. Um, we also, every day really, it's just exploring, exploring the life that the, the Tudors would have had. So it's quite exciting and interesting and, and it is what you, what you put into it. You, you can make it what you want really. It's, it's a very interesting place to volunteer for. In order to um, support new volunteers, we seek to like, make the atmosphere really informal, if you like, and flexible with the new volunteer. Um, and essentially, we, you know, we, we really seek to um, support people by giving them a mentor, if you like, or we'd like to call it a buddy. So you're never left on your own, not at all. Um, so you've always got that friend. And, and if you feel confident to do a task on your own, that's OK. But if you don't, you never have to do that. Uh, well, I've come to Mary Arden as a volunteer. I've been here about two weeks now. And it's, I, my general duties are to sort of look after the stock. With, with the farm manager and the assistant farm manager. Uh, just a general care of the animals, uh, make sure they're healthy. With modern farming today, it's a very isolated and lonely job on a commercial farm. Um, and unless the support network is in place, things can go wrong. Uh, and that's what happened to me one winter. I was left in charge of a lot of stock and it all got a bit too much and overwhelming for me. Uh, I've lost my, lost my confidence and was quite ill with it for quite a few years. Uh, I'm still not over it, uh, but I feel that coming to a place like this, the support is in place. I feel relaxed and more confident when I, I come here, away from where I live. Uh, it's a nice friendly atmosphere and my confidence is growing, yeah. My name's Ed, I'm the assistant farm manager and I've been in position for five weeks now. I think volunteering is very important at the Mary Island site and in the trust in general and beyond that because I think it gives people an opportunity to do things that in their working life or in their school career they haven't had the chance to do before. There's also the chance to meet a new crowd of people, get friends and just explore and learn different skills. Uh, here at Mary Arns, there's a real variety of ways you can volunteer. You can uh, be on the farm side with myself and Joe. You can help us look after the animals, get the grassland looking good, and general maintenance of the site. 
one of the more popular methods is to uh, join the Tudor reenactment side of things and uh, dress up and pretend to be a Tudor for the day and learning all sorts of skills. Tudor wood splitting, Tudor dancing, music. If a volunteer does come and requires a little more attention than perhaps another or is struggling a little, we, uh, we like to prepare them for the job. Joe and I will talk them through the job, we'll perhaps demonstrate to them. If they're struggling then we will stay with them. Some volunteers benefit more from working independently, but there's always either Joe or myself around or the other members of staff on site to help people out. The whole aspect of volunteering is it's got to be good for, it's got to be good for the volunteer, it's got to be good for the staff and it's got to be good for the site.